very re rewarding to see the seed that you can't see with, or the larvae that you can't see with your eye. And you're like, we grew this. We spawned it, we grew it, and now it's gonna go either to industry, it's gonna go out in the water, and it's gonna do what it's intended to do. Hi, my name is Megan Gima, and I am the Oyster Hatchery Manager at the University of Southern Mississippi's Thad Cochran Marine Aquaculture Center. And so a lot of our um, goals and objectives for our hatchery are research oriented. But we also have the production side of it, which is for the restoration for the state and for the DMR to replenish their oyster reefs. So every month we're trying to give eyed larvae to DMR so that they can set on these um, whole oyster shells, set them out in the reefs. And what they're hoping is that those small spat that we set on those oyster shells will grow into larger adult animals and then they will spawn and naturally recruit and replenish those oyster reefs. As you increase the numbers and you start getting millions of oysters back on those reefs, you're just cleaning up the water, which is good for everybody.